Hey everybody, how's it going today? DLD Customs back here. Uh, doing a little door handle replacement on my 2000 Chevy Silverado 1500. It's got the step side bed on it. Uh, got it running right now. I uh, killed the battery, had to jump start it, and just let it charge up. Let that alternator need to work. Make sure it's all charged up. Yeah, we should be all good. Oh yeah, take that out so I don't do that again because I actually left the key turned forward because I had to roll the window up so I can do this, uh, the door handle replacement here. Uh, so pretty much what you got to do to do that, uh, you got to take this door panel here off and usually you're supposed to, there's three bolts, you can see one goes right here, one will go right here want to go right there usually you're supposed to uh, unbolt them to take that out but uh, I actually just snapped the entire door handle off here's the old one I already here's the nuts I got two nuts the third nuts rusted onto the bolt so I got to try to get that off but yeah I literally broke it off of the out of the sockets there um, so yeah you got to take the door panel off to get to the three bolts to get to take the handle off and then after that you take the lock out of here and you put it in here and to do so there's a little pin you can see right here uh, on this one you gotta just take it off I just used a screwdriver and just pried it off it's, you know old junk so I just you know threw it in there uh, but alright I'll check back with you guys here in a minute Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, or sorry not another video, another clip of this video. Uh, as you can see there, got the new door handle put in. I still haven't put the door skin stuff on yet, but uh, so I can give you guys a little, little look here at the 2000 Chevy Silverado. This ain't going to be no in-depth video or nothing, just a quick little, while well, I'm showing you guys some other stuff around, you know. Uh, Chuck's got the 4.3 V6 uh, Vortec. It's got a roughly 127,000 miles on it. I'm not too sure. Like I said, this ain't going to be no in-depth video on this thing. But, uh... Talk to you guys here about, about these door handles. Apparently, these door handles are really cheap. This is the second one I've had to replace since I've owned this truck. I've owned this truck for about a year now. And I broke the passenger side. I'll come over here and I'll show you guys. This is a brand new one. Uh, not brand new. Maybe a couple months. Uh, that I had to replace there. So it ain't really too bad. It's just kind of a pain when you snap them off. From what I, and what ended up happening was, is the door was locked, and I come to unlock it or to open it. Sorry. And instead of opening, it just whoosh, come out of the door. Like I said about breaking the bolts earlier. There, there. And there's another one somewhere around here, right there. Um, and another thing. Uh, do I have a flashlight? I'll be right back and we'll go grab a flashlight. Alrighty, guys, sorry about that. Um, like I was saying on the inside here, there's some three bolts that you gotta put back on, but like I was saying, it's not really that hard, it's just kind of a pain gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see I know I'm sorry about the quality but if you can see them two little pins down in there the metal pins let me see if I can set this thing up somewhere um, there we go. That ain't too bad if you guys can see well this one right here is for the interior door handle and this one in here is for the interior lock we got these two in the back more towards the back I should say really hard to see up in here these two well this one right here is for the lock and then this other one you can't really see where it goes but it kind of goes right past it you can see right next to it right there uh, it goes under there then it goes up into stuff in the door handle up there well for me when I ripped it out it bent the rod so it took me a little while to get it back to the right position to where because what will happen is 
inside of here, you can see that rod, them rods right there actually. Uh, this rod right here for the next, for the top one in the door handle got bent and it was catching on that little black thing over there so I ended up having to bend it backwards so it wouldn't catch on that. Uh, and like I said, uh, so to take the uh, door panel off to get to the bolts, you get one through here, so I still got to tighten them down, but and then the other two you just kind of got to use your, I uh, might be able to get one from somewhere else, let me see here, you can get one from right here, sorry, not the greatest cameraman. I do apologize, guys. That's my, like I said, it's my second video. Just showing you guys how to, not necessarily how to, but the basic general idea of how to replace this door handle. Uh, I run into a lot of trouble. Like I said, this is my second one. On my first one, I did not know about the rod being bent, and it took me about a good week to figure that one out until I could get it up and going and uh, open my door or not. Got some stuff uh, right here. This is a U joint for my 1988. Can't really see her, but she's sitting back in there. She's looking good. She's looking good. Uh, got my brake lines in the mail. I got to do that too. I was gonna think about messing with it today, but I had to help my buddy with an alignment and uh, ended up breaking my door door handle there. So uh, as you can see, it's getting to be nighttime, and uh, that's pretty much about all I'm doing for today. Uh, I'll get these bolts uh, all tightened down, get the door panel back on, and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, guys. Oops, sorry about that. Dropping the flashlight. Uh, got the door panel back on. You're supposed to have a few screws that are, excuse me, uh, seven millimeter. That uh, I only have one of, so I just threw that back up in there. Uh, Got all this put back together. Still got to put the thing for the window, the lock, that little plastic piece, and the little triangle. And after that, oops, sorry guys. Uh, that should be about it for the night there. I'm making some progress here. About about 80% done, 90% done, I'd say. But alright guys, I'll check back with you here in a minute. Show you guys the final project. Pro uh, process. Alrighty, guys. Uh, pretty much finished up here. Uh, pretty late in the night there, so got the flashlight and everything out, but uh, got everything back in place, the door handle and everything. Uh, I had a little situation with the, uh, there was a little wire for that light hanging down on the bottom. So I had to completely take the door skin back off, shove that wiring back into that socket so it wasn't hanging down at the bottom. Uh, but got everything all finished up here, guys. Show you guys the new door handle. There she is. Like I said, sorry about it being so late at night. I want to get this video busted out and show you guys she works. But like I said, just going to... That'll do it for this video, guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, share. Uh, I'm going to try to keep posting more videos. Definitely got more work to do to my trucks. So. Alrighty, guys. Have a good one. See you in the next one.